Hi there, this is Kelly Leahy. I'm the technology coach at Collins Intermediate. In this video, I'm going to start sharing ideas on how to start off your school year with a nice, neat and tidy dashboard in your Canvas account. So go ahead and go to your dashboard and you may see tiles like I have, similar to what I have. Everyone each year ends up with one class or one course that's pushed out from the district. So we're not going to talk about those because those are district controlled. They're the ones that automatically have your students in them. They also, the district that is, also removes those and archives those courses. So what I'm talking about now are courses that you have created or that you're a part of from someone else. So the first type that we're going to talk about is the what I call the homegrown. Last year I made this course. I don't want anybody in that course to be able to access this information anymore. I don't want their dashboard to be cluttered with, with my stuff that doesn't matter to them anymore. So I'm going to click on the tile and then I'm coming over here to the white column. We're going to scroll down to the tool that says settings or the link that says settings. And I'm going to come over to the right and I'm going to click on conclude this course. Some people may ask, why not delete the course? Well, most of the time, you're going to want some content from the courses that you are removing from your dashboard sometime in the future. When you delete a course, you're deleting all the content, all the assignments, all the video links, everything. So I highly suggest that you click on conclude the course. When I click on conclude the course, it gives me a warning. It will archive all course content, but that's great because that means you'll be able to get back at that course content if you were the ones that, if you were the one that created the course. Uh, so I click on conclude course. And now that course is removed from my dashboard. Thanks for listening.